we're here uh, as part of FEMA's Urban Search and Rescue Team supporting the local jurisdiction and making uh, some water rescues in the area due to the hurricane. As of right now, to this point today, we've made approximately 300 rescues. It's easy enough to drop my boat in the water and I've just been shuttling people to uh, dry land. Uh, this is probably my 10th run. Probably, I've been taking anywhere from five to eight or nine people per run. You guys just uh, jumping in to help out? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? Texas City. Texas City? Yes, sir. What, 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 uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to try to save some lives. Yeah? Yes, sir. It's horrible, isn't it? Yes, sir. have to be to cut a palm tree in half but that's what happened to the top of this tree but next to it we got old glory I just I can't let old glory just sit here like that the school yeah it's battered so is the flag but we've got to fold this up make sure this isn't a casualty to Hurricane Harvey
report on, on how long he's been there uh, or what kind of condition he's in. I'm sure he's very, very wet, very cold, very frightened. Um, I can't, I am terrified for him, so I, I can't imagine uh, the level of fear he has here. But these uh, kudos, incredible kudos to these two sheriff's deputies who are risking themselves on this boat in very deep water to pull this driver to safety. We want to thank all first responders who are out there, who are doing the same, who are risking their lives. Um, these, these deputies, they weren't on their way here. Um, thank goodness they were in the right place at the right time. I saw them coming on Beltway 8. I flagged them down, told them about the situation, and now they are here saving this man's life. Uh, you see him throwing some of his stuff to them. dry, anything dry. I'm sure there's not a lot dry left in that cab. <sighs> and here he comes. I feel like I can finally breathe. Kind of a sigh of relief. That he is okay. And his fate will not be the same as the man who lost his life here a year ago in almost the same situation. Semi-driver going into high water, not knowing how, just how deep it can get in this area. And who's to say if rescue crews weren't here, if these guys didn't stop, that his story would be different. So thank you to everyone out there, all police, all fire, all sheriff's deputies, any other agencies who are out there, neighbors who are taking in neighbors, who are helping folks who get stranded, thank you. That still need to be pulled out of here. So Austin Seth, who was the, uh, the volunteer who had been taking us over, I tell you what, we were just about to leave and we just happened to hear this woman, so uh, asked for help. So that's what, uh, what Austin here, and they have two dogs as well. Come on this way, little fella. Um, so they're trying to to get her out. Um, we'll keep, we'll keep working on this.
perfect fold, but definitely a, a rescue from Hurricane Harvey here in Rockport. 